is your boy Bass14 here yet again with another video and today we have the second part of the series that I gave, the two series I gave you which is Life is a Lot of Fun as Bav says basically where I just talk about anything I want to talk about it is football, school life, anything I want to talk about as you can tell from the title this video is how November can just fuck off just fuck off November so annoying as an Arsenal fan you don't even understand how painful it is for me to see November come and go and the damage it does to Arsenal but anyways before this video so I want to go smash the like button and also you can subscribe if you haven't already let's get into this video my first point of this game is the Hector Bellerin's engine yes the news that Arsenal fans have been dreading unfortunately Maya has gone to the uh, Spain under 21 team and injured his ankle ligament and he has been ruled out from 6 to 8 weeks but as an Arsenal fan we already know that this 6 to 8 weeks is usually the end of 8 he is so important to Arsenal he abuses his pace and the reason why you need his pace at the back is because look Mustafi has a mistake in him and I've seen it over the game against Tottenham and against Chelsea he has a mistake in him here and there so I always Chelsea sometimes but Bellerin, whenever, he loses, whenever someone loses the ball he has the pace to catch him up most likely he offers Arsenal just that last bit of security just to prepare to get there he's running quite a list amount of times where he's got back and dropped and got there and he's usually our first name on the team sheet because he's so consistent for Arsenal so what we'll miss is pace in the back but the importance of him is I can't tell you how important he is to Arsenal defence because it won't work as good without Hector Bellerin in the back because he offers Arsenal pace in the back and we need that pace really badly but Bellerin is so important to Arsenal and it's so annoying for him to get injured who does he place him with? and I've got three options here Carl Jenkinson yes He's just come back from injury, but the important thing about Jenkinson is he never gives up. He's a hard working player, and yes, it's cliche, but it is so important for players to work hard. A lot of players nowadays are more attackers than defenders. That's the most thing, but Jenkinson will never give up. I mean, he's got pace, he's got a respect for my pace. Yes, he's not the fastest as Bellerin, but he is not slow. He's got very good technique crossing the ball. He likes to overlap a lot. Best thing about the thing for me, he would add height to Arsenal's defence, which Bellerin doesn't give. Jenkinson is 6'1, foot, six foot very, very tall. He gives height to the Arsenal defence. We kind of need in the corner set pieces, as you've seen before, and uh, the most set pieces have been but he also has his downsides for me, better, uh, he just come back from injury, he looks all over the place against other teams uh, I'm looking at the other day in the League Cup, he looks all over the place, obviously understandable coming back from injury I think he is the most likely to replace uh, Bellerin but he has a lot of doubters because he ain't to level Hector Bellerin But he may, he may prove us wrong, I mean if uh, Debussy, Bellerin came in for Debussy a few years ago if you remember When Debussy got injured and Bellerin came in and also Bellerin started dominating on that side and now Debussy can't win the team Anyways, talking about Matthew Debussy, he is my number 2 to replace with Hector Bellerin We've seen him, he's a good defender. The reason why I lost the box from Newcastle because he's a good defender. But I don't know why, but Bellerin is so good that he's just displaced from Debussy. And for me, Debussy takes a few games to get back into the team anyways. As, as long as he is in the team, I think he's a consistent player. Maybe he's better than Jacobson. The reason why I thought I don't think he'll play is because Arsenal did one. I don't think that the situation was, I think, that Arsenal did not want uh, Matthew Debussy at the club by the end of the summer. He was there, obviously, because his wages weren't met by other clubs that wanted to sign him. Which obviously is understandable, but the final option is a kind of different one. He's like a different part of me. Saying this could happen, but I don't see this happening because I don't think Wenger's got enough centre backs to play where he's going to leave out, the gap is going to leave, and that is Grodan and Mustafi. Yes, he's played there quite a few times in Germany, he's been successful as well for Germany. He was in the part of the World Cup squad, and he played right back for them, which obviously won the World Cup for him, which obviously means he's kind of decent in that position. Maybe not the standard of Bellerin, maybe doesn't offer the same attacking threat, that's why I think Wenger would pursue him and centre back because he's a partnership with really Koshani, which is a rude. And he also has. Um, uh, he also had to have a fullback because the overlap and Walcock are inside a lot of the times. So maybe Rock Holding come in as well, you never know. But for me right back right now, I, I'd go Carl Jacobson. Obviously, I want to know what you want to say. Don't just comment up below. I'm going to do a poll right now up here. Vote for you or not. Do you want to know Jacobson, Debussy or Mustafi at right back? Anyways guys, on the next. My second point, Arsenal fans. Better than Zinger. How, how could this game worse? Whilst the Vemba Arsenal fans, Sanchez is not going to as well. <laughs> but, there's a but to this. Reports in Chile claim that it's a minor injury. So it's a dilemma going on right now. Wenger wants to back at Arsenal to recover from his injury while Chile wants him to stay for the important group clash against Uruguay. And apparently in training he pulled his hamstring muscle calf muscle. I'm not sure. It's a different from different boys. It depends on what you read. I don't know what's going on. I think they can do themselves. Reports came out yesterday scaring me the fuck out of me by saying six weeks. But today Wenger's come out and said yeah, yeah we don't know. We have to check our doctors. So I don't know what's going to happen here. The Arsenal uh, medical stuff is kind of dodgy. So you never know what can happen. But Sanchez is a massive miss, he's an important player to Arsenal. Just look at his stats, 8 goals and 5 assists, he proves out our most consistent and best player up front. The dilemma is Chile is there, do they want to let him go and rehabilitate? Do they want to keep him, maybe he can score a goal against Uruguay, you never know, he, he's like Sanchez, he's a world class player and you want to keep your world class players in your team, especially a team like Chile, who only have a few world class players, they want to keep their top players and Sanchez is one of them, trust me. For me, the important to Arsenal is just more for that. Arsenal goes to the title when there's a massive crunch game against United and PhD, which he could miss if he aggravates the injury. But he's important to Arsenal's goals, 
and Ferrugi provides a brand where his pace is just everything for Sanchez. We need an Arsenal, especially against a team like Man United. Next, I've also got three players to replace him. First is Olivier Giroud. Yes, the Frenchman who has struggled to uh, play for Arsenal this season has banged in three goals in two games before he got his place against last week. Uh, then came off the bench and did nothing really, handed the ball into Hugo Lucy's arms, which I was there to watch and it was so annoying. But anyway, Giroud, he is an option. He is, for me, a very good strike on his day. Giroud has his aspects. Well, Sanchez doesn't have Giroud has. Giroud has the heading ability and ability to hold the ball up against tall defenders, which United will play. But maybe I think Wenger's choice will be Giroud. But my choice would be, it's, it's still Walker. And yes, his best position is the right wing this season. He's been phenomenal for Arsenal the right wing this season, no doubt about it. Against a team like United, he will probably be a daily, a daily blend down the middle, with more the engine apparently now. I think you, 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 you could easily play walk up down the middle and just knock it behind. We did last year at Old Trafford, it struggled, but it, I remember it's, it proved dividends. So you never know, but I would go walk up from just to add pace and put off the chairman a will be. But the final option I'm doing is Truba Apom. Yes, it's a surprise to us, but then you never know, then you want to keep the pace and the height. He has both of it. Apom has pace and he's very tall, six foot one. So then I could choose any of these, but I think it's more likely to be Giroud than walk up or Apom. But you never know, you got Yaya Sanogo. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. On to the next point. Third point is November is fucking cursed for Arsenal. Yes, it's fucking cursed. Let me just give you a stat here. I, I, I've stolen it from Arsenal on TV. Yes, I have. I'm going to admit it. Stat. Since 2009, the injury record at Arsenal has been absolutely woeful in this month. 2009. In this month, Van Persie, five months injured. Klitsch, ten weeks injured. Bentner, three months injured. 2010, Fabregas, one month. 2011, Diaby, four months. Gibbs, three months. Jenkinson, three months. 2012, Andre Santos, two months. Uh, Sanya, one month. And Javinho, one month. Yes, two of them is bullshit, but Sanya, still very popular for Arsenal. 2013, Sanya and Wilshire both out for two weeks. 2014, Wilshire, five months. Arteta, two months. Walcott, one month. And Chesney, two weeks. And 2015, it was even worse. It just gets even worse every year. Kozula, five months. Sanchez, six weeks. And Copeland, nine weeks. Those are massive injuries off They're all the best in players. And this year, Walcott, Cazola's not fit right now, Sanchez and Bellerin, massive players again. Massive players. So I make what you'll make about it, but I think it's cursed. It is a, it's a curse against Arsenal in November. You never you fucking know. We just don't like November as Arsenal fans. You can see now if you're another fan why we hate November. Because all sports here is called W and W. That is my new part in school. The week, a winner of the week and a wanker of the week and this is just anyone in general in the world and the winner has to be drumroll please fucking Donald Trump yes that fucking cunt has gone and is now the American president well fucking hell how is that cunt if that proves if he can be the fucking president of America I can be YouTuber with fucking 15 million subscribers if he can be the president of America it's a fucking joke I don't really go into it it's a fucking joke and the fucking wanker of the week oh, oh it's in my school especially teachers in general I hate the teachers this week. They just, the thing I hate the most about teachers, for I'll tell you right now, is they don't admit they're wrong. Yes, sometimes they are right, and most of the time they are right, and yeah, sometimes students go over the top. But most of the time they're fucking wrong, but they never admit it because they're like, oh no, we're teachers, you know? We got a card, we're teachers, we can fuck you up as much as you can. No, you can't, we're gonna be famous, we got, we got a future ahead of us, you're fucking stuck in school now. End up. Like, fucking hell, he's teaching my school, he just, he's so arrogant, they're so arrogant. They hate the fact that they're wrong sometimes, it's like, oh, we can't be wrong, because we're teachers. Go fuck yourself, you're not God, are you? Yeah? You're just normal people who just got jobs as teachers. I say job, you're supposed to make yourself a job. It's not like you just sit there and you abuse your power. Like, I was in school with detention today, yeah? Yes, I am kind of in trouble with detention. And, like, a teacher, a, a boy just sitting there reading a book. Teacher comes up and says, Why are you reading a book? Do you want to read a book to you? Shut the fuck up and sit back down and do your job. And someone's detention. If they can just fuck off. And I don't care if I get in trouble this video. Let me just fuck off. I don't care anymore. Admit you're wrong. I admit that you're sometimes you can do them. You're human beings as well. You're meant to make mistakes. Humans are meant to make mistakes. Anyways, guys, this game kind of, kind of very, very long. I don't write on my teachers anymore. I'll probably go in trouble already for this. But anyways, guys, hopefully I don't. Hopefully you've subscribed already. If you haven't, come on, man. What are you waiting for? 70 is nearly there. Maybe 100 after that. Just every small step. Just subscribe. Obviously, comment down below your opinions of Wanker. Who's your winner and Wanker of the Week? Uh, what do you think of Sanchez and Bellerin? Who should replace them? Comment down below. That's what you're going to poll. The poll is going to go up there. And obviously, guys, keep safe, keep smiling, and peace.